Alrighty everyone, welcome back to another episode of Customs Through for Dice Folk. Last time we finished up Act 1 with our team that kind of revolves around gaining strength because we had the return of Bjorn Fury. We also have this. Kind of put out. Unfortunately, we did lose our items on this guy because they were breakable and he got KO'd. So that was unfortunate. I don't think we're going to do that either. We'll figure it out. Uh, let's do... Let's do Stonehand. Equipment choice. On equip, gains between 0 and 8 strength at random. Okay, but it's... Oh, these are cursed. Got it. Revives and or fully heals the whole team on equip. Next chimera here will be in iridescent. Kind of like the idea of this. I'm just going to slap that on this guy. So right now he's at six. He got five. I can live with that. Uh, so there's a shrine there, a shrine there. I don't see any of the elite battles yet, so let's go here. This guy knew? Frozen is big. I have the wrong one there. Alright, so we can do this. So if we just attack it now, we KO it. Because of Frozen. Yeah, so let's do that. Hoping that one would have gotten up front, but that's fine. We now have this thing. Let's do this. So if we do this, and then we buff ourselves, that'll get to attack. And then I'm wondering if this class... Okay, so it still hits them. I didn't know if it would hit the taunt or not. And then we rotate. So you have 10 attack. We want to take you out if we can. So that would just be that. Random rotate. Rotate. And then a clash. All there is to it. He is taking quite a bit of damage, though. So we need to see if we can find, like, leech or something for him. Um, first, before I forget, let's do, let's do that to make him leader again. Check out this shrine. Yep. For whatever reason, I keep losing the mouse. I don't think we've looked at this guy before. He's got mana. Spell, target, opponent, inflict sleep. Or inflicts frozen. Got it. I don't know. Don't know. Nothing worth grabbing now. We can at least check out the black market. It's more cursed items. Opponent spawn gain plus one strength for the rest of the battle. Okay. Enters lead plus three for the rest of the turn. On spawn strongly heals when attacks. Minus one max. Oh. Oh, I'm not a fan of that. Not not at all. Mirror token. Okay, I, I'm not a fan of that one at all. Let's drop down to here. So, Momo Hebe. I like the name. It rolls well. So, we got that. Uh, when it attacks, inflicts three poison to the target. So we need to see if we can get rid of it. I th no, I don't think we can. Oh yeah, we just end the fight. Never mind. We just do that. Easy. 
Again, he's getting banged up, though. What, uh, what if I do this? No, okay, it doesn't work like that. Had to check. Look at the dice smith. So energy shock, which is the single target. Free rotation. The basic die for 30. That could definitely be a thing. That would help us do stuff. There's a lot of idols on there, but... I'm gonna grab it. More options. Maybe use the dice smith later. Although there was... We were there at the dice smith. Maybe see if we can get enough money for uh, one of these. But we have to keep some money for the Traveler. Strength increase and damage dealing. Let's go strength increasing. Makes the most sense for us. Oh, man. Alright. We got the Demon Axe. Let's see how often we can trigger it. There's no other healing right now. So we gotta try to get through this. Maybe rotate out if we have to. Yeah, with the Clash, we're gonna have to and we can't. Okay. Yeah, we can't get rid of it. This one won't KO it. There is double clash. Oh, I could have. I screwed that up. I could have just KO'd that. We're gonna do that. Yeah, I screwed that up a little bit. We got there, but now we got to revive him somehow. Sure. It might have to be the bonfire. Small chance of granting focus to ally leader on rotation, but I think we're okay for now. here. This guy doesn't have mana. Ally hurt grants one strength. Oh my gosh. Okay. We're gonna use that. Yeah. We'll do this. Yeah. I guess I should have waited to see what the last one was. I was just so excited that that looked cool. So, travel bags. Put on the Beer and Fury. We have to revive something here. We didn't have an option. Yeah. Even then, it's not ideal, but... Oh, it changes the... Interesting, it changes it. Okay. So when it attacks, it flicks Entangle, which we don't really want. Okay. Yeah, we can just do that. That was a lot. Uh, you, you. 
Let's have him come up front. Yeah. Alright, one down. So if we give you two strength, it doesn't really matter that to KO that. The breakpoints are still the same. But region on that. We can have their front person hit him in the back. That's a lot. Let's just clear this to be sure. So we have to end it this turn. Which we do. Man. We didn't see a heal all token, did we? Is that on all on the opposing leader? Okay. Equipment choice. Grant focus. Blind to the whole team. Blind in affected chimera misses next attack and must try to attack in order to end its. Hmm. But an extra equipment slot or. All right, so relentless isn't as good because we don't have the dice to help us out with it. Even the plus two strength is iffy. It'd probably be like this. Missing an attack sucks, but Beyond Fury would at least be able to deal with it pretty quickly. Plus one equipment slot. Can we see the map? We can't. I might actually skip it. I don't think we're strong enough to really take any... Like. We don't have a guard to deal with this. Yep, I'm gonna skip. That feels bad. Monster leather, so breakable, plus 15 max hit points. Self inflicts one damage. Ally hurt. That could be fine. Because then that should trigger twice when it's hurt and then again. Or the Gambos. Plus one strength to the Chimera of our choice. I'm going to go with the Beer and Fury here. Gold and revives or slightly heals. I think that's on you. And then we can grab this and the boss should be right in here. We want to hit the Dice Smith before we go back at... though. No. Oh, something I forgot to do. I didn't know these speed controls were up here. So we're going to do that. Why are you back up front? Is there something that... No? Alright. Well, that's not great. Attacks up to three times. Alright, we don't want you to exit the lead, but you're going to have to. Yeah, you get extra strength. We got that. Um, they're the same. So when it attacks, so we want the one in the back to come up front. Yeah. So we have a rotation now. So let's put you up front. This is going to do a good chunk of damage. Oh, this is just energy shock. So we don't want you coming up now. Let's have you come up front. And then we'll do the clash. So it still only attacks once, and then we can do this. And if that comes up front, so what? 
All right. Felt a little bit better. That's kind of big. We timed that with a clash die. That can be really big. So there's the boss. There's an elite fight. Let's go to the die smith. Yeah, we want one of these. We're going to use on this. The extra token could be big. We have 24 left. Let me re-familiarize myself with what's at this shop, the black market. Opponent spawn gains one strength for the rest of the battle. Could put that on the Beer and Fury. For 16? Yeah. And then with the 9 remaining... Yeah, let's take this. All right, let's see how we do. We don't have any guard tokens, and that's what scares me. Oh, it's this guy. Okay. I forgot to change again, but holy cow. He just gets a ton. He actually our best one to keep up front. He might be. So that's to exit the lead. He does the least amount of damage. Okay. Well. Just do that. You're back up front. Might as well have you attack. Have him attack again? Is he just a solo carry now? He might just be the solo carry. Like, he's almost dead. Dang it. Tangle is fine. Do we need anyone else? Of not... If in the lead, a players die... Okay, only 20%. On spawn, grant sneaky to a random ally. Removes boss on the whole... Mm. Wired bat. I mean, I think we take that. But... What the heck is that? That is insane. He just gets so strong. Well, that's going to wrap up this act. Thank you all so much for watching. You guys can expect a final act to see if uh, Beyond Fury can carry us all the way through this. It'll be up tomorrow. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys want to see more Dice Folk or any other games. Other than that, thank you all so much for watching. Have a great night, and take care. <laughs>